Plus Tube. It is Kate here of Colorblind Cross Stitch. Today is July 15th, and here's Neko. Hello, Neko. I don't know if Neko will show up in the pictures, but here is Neko. Come to say hello, because that's what Nekos do. And fluff everywhere. So, I have uh, two things to show you today. Progress, of course, and one, one tiny stitch position. I went to Thursday, Thursday I went grocery shopping, and I also stopped in at our local thrift store, which is, ow, Neko, you have claws. I love you, but you're stepping on my bare skin with your claws. It's not super great. No, no, yes. So I stopped in at my local thrift store on Thursday. Uh, I noticed actually they did have a couple different cross stitch pattern, like patterns, um, kits. They had two or three kits in the thrift store this time. One was, I think one was Christmas and the other one was something else. I don't remember exactly, but they were both the kind where the thread wasn't on like thread, like wasn't on one of those like organizers with the different holes. Or I mean the dimensions ones are glued in, but they're at least they're all separate and labeled. It was one of those ones where it's just a big clump of floss tied together. So luckily I wasn't overly enamored of the patterns these kits were of anyway. They nothing like jumped out at me and went, oh my god, I need to stitch this. Which is good because I couldn't have stitched those anyway because they're the ones where the thread is not organized and I can't separate them by colors. <laughs> because colors! So I, I actually like kits because then you get everything at once. It's, it's kind of nice, but I avoid I avoid the ones where they are not organized in any way, shape, or form because I can't deal with that because I just like, I don't, how would I separate them? They all look the same. You know, maybe I would get some of them would be obviously different, but chances are I would just make a mess of things and everything would be the wrong color and it would be bad. But yeah, my thrift store actually had a couple kits in. They aren't what I bought though. I bought several clips. Yum, 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 yum. Clips. They were like 50 cents for two, so those are the two I'm not currently using. I got six of them. I found six of them in the like 50 cent bin because I figure, see I put them on my whip. They're like little claw hands. I figure they would be a little bit better um, than the clothespins that I had been using because they, um, the only thing, what's the word I'm looking for? The only thing touching the fabric is the ends, uh, so less chance of things getting, sort of getting caught uh, especially when you get to like places where there's actually stitching, like getting stitching caught in the in the clips, but it can hold the fabric. That's great. So that was my one stitch condition. I also bought some yarn to darn slippers with. My slippers have holes in them. I don't actually like knit or crochet or anything. I've never learned how to crochet. I've never tried to learn how to crochet. I don't even know what color this is. White? Yellow? I don't know. I bought it because it was fluffy and squish. It's the bottom of my slippers, so it won't matter. But yeah, I, I, I've never learned how to crochet. I had three different people try and teach me how to knit. Never, never stuck to it. I would always get, do a few rows, probably pretty badly because I only ever did it, you know, two or three times. Get bored and put down my knitting project and leave it forever. So three different people tried to teach me to knit as a kid. Did not work out. But at one point, my mom did teach me how to darn slippers, so. Now I can darn my slippers, which have holes in them. Because mom makes me my slippers. Mom's great. My mom, my mom does a little bit of cross stitching sometimes, occasionally, which is why I got a bunch of floss and things from her at one point. She, but she does, she does other kinds of like fiber crafts, if she will. She'll knit. She knits, she crochets. She does some sewing sometimes. If I lived, like, closer to mom, I would get her to serge the edges of my fabric because she actually has a serger. I think, I think it's still working and set up. I don't know. I think that's the thing that exists. But mom is like eight hours away. Basically, I have the best mother. I mean, other people probably have the best mother too, but my mommy's great. What was I saying? Yes. And she turned, and she taught me to darn slippers, so I can darn my slippers. So, moving on, that was what I bought. Wildly exciting, I know. I also bought groceries, which is why I went out. And cat food. And calendar. Super exciting, I know. So, the other thing I have to show you is my one whip. My one whip. Currently held together with clips. You've seen everyone there. Nothing's changed there since I showed you last week. Uh, the three the three villains I have left to, to outline are down this side. So, I finished Dr. Robotnik. 
Uh, Dr. Robotnik turned out to be a giant pain because all of this black underneath here, this like black semicircle, uh, I had to take it all out and redo it because I forgot three rows in, in sort of like this part, this, this black part, which consequently meant that there's like a wing or like an engine or something in here uh, where these two black things were and like the bottom, like the bottom part of this wing wouldn't fit. Uh, so it wasn't like, like Snorlax in the portal turret, which I missed a stitch and was kind of able to like fudge it and, and make it work anyway. This was like, no, there's there's three whole rows missing. I was like, I'm not sure how to make that work. So I had to take out all of that black, that, that black semicircle that's like three, three or four lengths of black, something like that. Take it all out, put it all back. So Dr. Robotnik took like two days longer than he should have. However, I did finally start on, on Ridley's face. There's Ridley's face. It's like the edge of his mouth and some teeth. I feel like that might be his eyes in there, but I don't remember. I, I feel like his eyes are in here, but maybe not. Maybe he's just mouth. He might just all be mouth. <laughs> so, uh, this week we'll be finished Ridley and do Street Fighter Guy. Hopefully finish Street Fighter Guy. Depending on what I hear from the desert bus people, though, because today is July 15th, and when I, like, put my name in to be like, let me volunteer to give you something, that would have been just about a month ago, my Christopher and I... Uh, like as soon as it it opened because we thought we missed it and then Chris discovered that we hadn't so we signed up to 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 you know to volunteer our our project I think like the day or so Chris discovered that we had not missed the deadline they'd opened up submissions for the like to volunteer auction items crafty stuffs and we put in our we put in our submission pretty much maybe not quite right away like the day after I think like the day opened so like on the fifteenth or sixteenth or seventeenth of of June uh, when we did that the like the website said everyone will be notified about whether their submission is accepted by July fifteenth it is currently July fifteenth I haven't heard anything yet so I don't know if they maybe got just just happened to get like a lot of submissions and are going through them still. Or, or or what's happened? I checked their website this morning because I was like, well, maybe something's happened and I can, you know, check and see if they've been delayed or, you know, something. Uh, nothing. There was no, like, notification about, you know, people have been notified or we are delayed or, well, anything since the post basically saying, hey, we have opened up submissions. So yeah, so I haven't, haven't heard anything. I would really like to hear something um, because I would like to know how likely I am to need to finish this by September, which may or may not be doable. This is a lot of project and I still have my other project to do, which was a Christmas gift. Would like to be a Christmas gift, which I would like to be a Christmas gift. I'm sure the project itself has no opinion. It's an inanimate object. Yeah, which I would kind of like to get back to put more work on my sailing ship but I can't really do that until I know what's happening with this one because if this one is gonna need to be done by September I need to do the thing super super much because I'm still you know outlining I'm still outlining the first half and it's already the middle of July I am not super sure about getting this done on time which is not super good but I'm trying my bestest doing my stitching while I read for my doing my stitching while I read for my thesis when I need to do reading research. Can't stitch and write, but that's all I have to tell you guys. I bought clips, I stitched Dr. Robotnik, then I frogged Dr. Robotnik, and then I stitched more of Dr. Robotnik, and now I'm stitching Ridley. I still haven't gone to Michael's for the rest of my floss for this project because I am still waiting, hopefully, for a coupon for more than one item. So I might have to not, especially if I get a notification saying, hey, yes, we definitely want this project this year. Uh, I might have to go and go to Michael's without a coupon, which would be sad. Uh, or I could go to Desaires. Desaires? I don't know how to say that. But their floss is like 10 cents more. Actually, it's 20 cents more, and then they have a student discount, which I don't think Michael's does. But even with the student discount, it's 10 cents more. So 
that's not going to work either until unless they give me a coupon, but I haven't seen any coupons from Desiris since I started looking, which admittedly was like last week, but I don't know if they do coupons the same way that like Michaels does. Michaels does love to do coupons, they're just all coupons for things I don't need. <laughs> so I'm waiting for them to have a coupon for things I do need, which hasn't happened yet. Yeah, I mean I guess if I was more organized I could do one of those like tags that 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 flossy people have been doing there's like the the know your needleworker tag which asks about like favorite things is favorites of stuff i think it also has like stitching questions about like when you started stitching and like what your favorite stuff is i feel like there's also like a confessions of a stitcher tag or something which a couple people have done the most recent one i've been seeing people do is like the 20 facts about you you know, again, it's a sort of like, these are like, I like get to know you sort of dealios. I'm not entirely sure why they're called tags. I guess because you're supposed to tag them with whatever their title is. And then theoretically you could find all of them at once. So you could find all the people who are doing 20 things I love, or not 20 things, but 20 things to know about you. Tag. Right. Why are they called tags? I don't know. I assume it's because you tag them with the name so people can find them. But that seems also kind of weird because why would you be looking up, I want to know 20 things about a bunch of different random people. I just, that seems weird. I mean, as a get to know you thing, it makes sense, but as a I'm going to look up this tag and look up all the posts tagged with this, or in this case, because it's YouTube, all the videos tagged with this, and then watch a bunch of videos about people saying things about themselves. That that <laughs> that sounds creepier than than I think it's supposed to be. But yeah, I was thinking, hey, I could do that one because I don't have, I don't need to have like a question list. I don't have anything to have a question list on on me right now. And then I was trying to think of things I could tell you, but then all the twenty things that I was thinking of were not actually about me. <laughs> Uh, like, for example, I was thinking, hey, I could talk about my high school experience because my high school experience was kind of unique because I went to a school for the blind. That's a thing about me. But then I ended up thinking about things like the fact that uh, one year, um, because it was a school for the blind, there was a bunch of uh, albinistic kids, uh, albino kids. And so one year, like five or six of them all dressed up as a punk band and dyed their hair crazy wacky colors with Kool-Aid because when you're albino you can do that because your hair is white. So all the white haired kids dressed up as a punk band for Halloween, dyed their hair with Kool-Aid and had like green, blue, red, pink, crazy hair for the day. And it was amazing because their hair took took the Kool-Aid dye, you know, really well. I mean it washed out, like that's the thing with, with like using Kool-Aid as hair dye. It, you know, it washed out right away basically. Which was great for Halloween. Super cheap. Which is a fact about my high school experience, but not a fact about me, you know, or the fact that my school had a pipe organ. Yes, my school had a pipe organ. I don't know why at some point I guess someone decided that the blind kids needed to be able to learn how to play the organ and donated to build our auditorium with its pipe organ. But for like his last year or two there, my brother was the only pipe organ student. But again, it's a fact about my school, it's not a fact about me. School is five years younger than Canada. The school for the blind is really old. Not a fact about me! So, I'm up to like, four facts. One of them has been about me. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if that is your thing. Let me know what you think. I, I always love to hear from people. Uh, likes, even dislikes. Although if you do dislike, I would love you to comment as well so that I know what you disliked. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. That would be awesome. I love all of my people. Yes. You people who watch, you are my people. I have decided. You are my people and I love you. Just so you know. I hope you all have a lovely week and I will be back next week with another update and I will talk to you then.